Okay, so the first implement that I bought for the food plot is this two bottom plow. It's a Ferguson and it was made back in the uh, 50s. It's in pretty good shape. I got it off of Craigslist. All of the metal on here is very uh, solid. Yeah, it's got a little rust on it, but as far as a de deterioration of the metal itself, it's all in really good shape. So I got it home today and um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and clean it up. I know a couple of the cutters uh, that you see up here in the front, uh, they need some grease. So I'm going to take those apart and put some grease in it. So um, it's still functional, still works, but it needs a little bit of uh, TLC before I take it up north. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt to unload this out of the truck. Now what I have here is I've got a block and tackle set up and I've got um, some 2x4s bracing up on the 2x6 uh, the that I have up there. So I'm hoping to uh, go ahead and drag this onto my tailgate, hook up my other end of my pulley here, and lift it out. So wish me luck. Okay, I got the uh, plow off the back of the truck with the help from uh, the neighbor. So we're sitting here on my garage floor. Though it looks uh, pretty rusty, this is actually in very good shape. It's just surface rust. And once I clean it up, put a good uh, coat of primer on it and some paint, it's going to last another 50 years. And so this is a Ferguson uh, two-bottom plow. And this is what I'm going to use to bust up all of the virgin soil where I plan on putting in the food plots. Now on this particular unit, uh, this front cutter, so this cuts the grass as before the plow comes in there and uh, turns it over so it's nice and clean um, cut on the grass. It does have a little bit of uh, some metal missing there so I'll clean that up and that particular wheel is frozen so I'm going to have to take it off, check the bearings, give it some grease. Uh, this unit right here, this wheel right here, it spins freely. I could go ahead and spin it and it probably goes uh, a turn, turn and a half. So the bearing on that one is pretty good. So this is actually in pretty good shape. Picked it up off Craigslist, 300 bucks. And it's going to serve us well. So let me go ahead and uh, begin cleaning this up. Okay, so today uh, we're back out in the garage. It's a little bit warmer than it was a couple days ago, but we've only been in the mid-20s. Um, not a lot of warm days to work. And I'm finding out that the paint stripper that I've been using, uh, it's doing a pretty good job, but I just think it's too cold out here in the garage. And though I, don't, I do have uh, a heater, uh, it's just uh, not enough to get this garage, because uh, it's not fully insulated, up to the right temperature for this to work. So today I'm just going to uh, come through where I've applied some of the stripper and see if I can't peel off uh, some of the paint, take a wheel, wire wheel to this and clean this up. So this is what it looks like right now. Let me do a little bit of work on it and bring you back and show you what it looks like. I got left to do is to clean up uh, the cutters over here. Able to, uh, if I can zoom in here, 
able to get right down to the metal itself get all that paint out of there and uh, get it all the way down to the bare metal so what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and put a primer coat on it just so that I can kind of seal this up so the surface rust uh, doesn't kind of come back I'm going to wipe it down with acetone first clean up any uh, loose particles but we should be good so a couple hours of work and she's stripped down Okay guys, um, today I've started painting uh, the plow here. I'm going to paint it three colors. Obviously you can see two of the colors here, but where you see the primer, uh, that'll be the Ford Red. So this color combination is the same as uh, I painted the tractor. And eventually I'll be doing all the implements uh, that way. Again, I want to bring them home, clean them up, put some paint on them, and then don't have to worry about them for quite some time but so far this is uh, this is going very well I've got the garage up to uh, I don't know what is the temp here well, it's about 230 but what's the temp it's about 51 degrees in the in the garage so decent uh, not great but decent I just turned off the heater here so that uh, you can hear me talk it is a little loud but we're making progress on this uh, the next thing I need to work on are these uh, cutlers and if you notice here oops sorry if you notice here uh, I got two different sizes and uh, one's a 14 inch and one's a 12 inch and after looking up some of the documentation for this particular plow it came with 14 inches so somebody must have put this smaller disc on there at a different time and this one smaller uh, disc will not spin and as you can see the blade is pretty beat up anyway so I'm looking into seeing if I can get a replacement blade and I think I found it uh, there it's called a company called um, AGRI they're more of an agricultural they sell tractor parts and they have these discs on there for about 12 bucks but what I need to do is take this assembly apart this hub where this disc fits into and get the measurement on the hole and the number of bolts so that's what I plan on doing today but we are uh, making progress here it's looking good so I'll bring you back when I get a little bit further along all right so today we are going to tackle the uh, coltlers which are the cutters now I need to correct myself I've been calling these cutters um, the whole time that I've been doing this project <clears throat> I just went out and downloaded a manual for this particular implement and um, they're actually called coltlers c-o-u-l-t-e-r so I've been saying uh, cutlers, cutters the whole time, but it, they're actually called coatlers. Um, so forgive my uh, lack of knowledge on that, but now I know. But today we're going to go ahead and uh, take this apart. I've already taken one apart and figured out what I needed to do. Again, I've ordered new disc uh, for this. Now, one's a 14 inch, one's a 12 inch, and this 12 inch is beat up pretty bad so I didn't even want to try and reuse that one again so I ordered new uh, disc and I could not find this whole pattern in a 14 inch disc fortunate though I was able to find it in a 16 inch and it will still fit onto uh, the Kotler bracket right here so we're good I'll be actually putting on a little bit bigger uh, disc back on it but I was able to find uh, the whole pattern in a 16 inch which is fine but to get this hub off of this disc um, as you can see over here or maybe you can't as you can see over here 
these are uh, riveted on. So I'll have to grind off one side and then take a chisel and uh, pound through if I can. Now on, on this one here, um, I couldn't pound them all the way through, so I ended up taking my grinder and just grinding off, like I said over here, grinding off the, uh, the rivet on this side, and then I took my drill press, or took it to the drill press, and drilled through it. Now, the drill kind of walked on me, and so I actually ended up oblogging these holes here, so I'll have to be a little bit more careful when I go to do this one. But I have to, uh, I may have to drill the holes out on one side and then finish pounding through. And then what happens when you do, the, the uh, rivets on this side just come right out and then this hub falls through. Now these hubs seem to be in pretty bad shape. But I've gone online and I cannot find the hubs, just the hubs themselves. Uh, I'll, I'll just see if I can't fix these up, put some grease in them. There is a, a, a grease fitting here, and I was able to get this one off. This one here is a little tight. I'm going to have to take my time a little bit more, but I was able to get the grease fitting off, and I'll, I'll buy a new one so that uh, this one's all plugged so that I can get grease in here, and hopefully it'll help to spin it a little bit freer. But, uh, yeah, I can't uh, find the hubs anywhere, so I'm going to have to... Be careful on how I take these off so I can reuse the hub. But let me show you on this one the steps I took to get this disassembled uh, all together. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a uh, 11 16 inch wrench and um, go ahead and just take this off, this bolt that uh, goes through the center of the hub. It's a little tight, but um, but it's coming. So we'll take this off of the uh, the Coltler itself and be able to work on this. you're doing this uh, make sure you wear safety glasses As you can see it goes real quick I've got it flush with the hub now I'll just mark it so that I can drill it out but before I do that let me knock off the the other two caps so now that I've got the uh, the caps of the rivets grounded off um, as you can see right here here's one of the rivets I'll just go ahead and uh, take my drill press and drill through now I'm not going to drill all the way through um, the disc all I'm going to do is try and get it down to the disc so that I can pop this uh, hub off on this side and then I'll be able to uh, take a hammer and then finish pounding this all the way through but the first thing I got to do is drill out these rivets take long so now all I'm doing is is uh, 
taking a pair of uh, screwdrivers and just prying it underneath the hub to see if we can't pop this outer ring. It's off. Vented again. Um, there's no other way that I know of. So uh, we've got this off. So I've got the now ring off. So I'm just going to put a little penetrating oil around this, let that soak in, pound the rest of these bolts off, and then pound the hub out. Well, here we are, uh, another day. And I was able to take the, the hubs and get them cleaned up decently. Um, it, as you can see here, uh, the one hub is really beat up pretty bad. The other one is not so bad. It's actually pretty, it's in decent shape. The only thing that was bad was the, uh, the washer that goes on top. Now all I did was, is I, I got a couple of uh, washers that are the same diameter as the one that was on there before. It doesn't have the, the little I don't know, ridge on it to kind of go around the hub, but it's the best I can do right now. So I think by replacing that on here, this hub uh, will work out pretty good. Now this hub here, one side is perfect and the other side is beat up pretty bad. Now what I've been able to find after cleaning this up is there were a couple of numbers uh, on, on these parts. So this is a Coulter hub. Part number is 103211. And this is a Coulter bearing. And this is a 103212. So that was great that I was able to find the part numbers. Unfortunately, I can't find anybody who's got these. Uh, I've called probably... I don't know, seven, eight different uh, tractor supply parts, uh, aftermarket places, uh, good seven or eight places, and they do not have these. They, they show the part number and they can say, oh yeah, I know what that is, but we don't have it. So what I'm going to do is um, I got some JB Weld here. I've never used uh, JB Weld, but I'm going to attempt to try and build this back up as best I can and I'm gonna have to reuse these hubs um, I went through and cleaned everything else up on the plow but this is the only thing that I that I'm not satisfied with but unfortunately I can't uh, can't find these anywhere else so um, I'll go ahead and now I was able to uh, get the grease fitting off and uh, this one came clear and I was able to actually squirt some grease in here so that's going to be good when I put this all back together um, so but I'll take the JB weld I'll try and build this up as best I can and we'll go from there um, the hubs themselves uh, this one's actually in very good shape this one here has got some wear down in here and I might put a little JB weld up in here we'll see how it goes but we'll uh We'll play around with this, see if we can't get this any better than what it was, and we'll go with that. Now, the disc did come in, by the way. Let me grab one of these. A little bit heavy. So, uh, the disc came in. These are the same uh, hole pattern that's on the hub, and I could only find these in a 16 inch. But they'll work. I've already uh, placed it in there and measured the diameter, and it'll it'll fit in the Coulter arm. So I'm good with that. So those are about uh, we'll just say 13 bucks a piece, and it was 
almost that much uh, to ship it. So with, I got two of them. Um, so we're good with that. Let me fix this and then uh, we'll be ready to put this project near completion. All right, I'll show you what it looks like uh, once I get done playing with the JB Weld. Okay, um, it's been a couple of days and I've gone ahead and built up this hub around the edges and filled in that piece that was uh, missing here on the side. So I think I've done a pretty good job in filling in the voids on this particular uh, hub. It's not as great as the, uh, the other side, the original side, but I think that's gonna work out pretty well. I did fill in some of the, the bearing as well that fits on here. It fits on here much better and it turns without it uh, falling all over the place. So I think by using the JB Weld that um, it did pretty good. It's my first time using it. I think I'm going to use it again if I have to do any build up. Now, I'm not sure about the tensile strength on this. I don't know how long it's going to last, but at least it'll get me through uh, this season so I can look for some more of these hubs. So let me go ahead and uh, put a coat of paint on this and then put this together with the, um, the Coulter disc and we'll be ready to finish this project. All right, the plow is done. I've put uh, both uh, Coulter arms back on with the new 16 inch disc, cleaned up the, the hubs that are on here, put new hardware on them, bolted them on, so they're, uh, they're on there pretty good. All right, so the first implement that I'll be using for the food plot is done, the two bottom plow. So I've got uh, a disc harrow that I need to find next. Finding a difficult time, or I should say, I'm having a difficult time in uh, finding a disc harrow in decent shape. And when I do find them in a decent shape, they're almost the price of a brand new one. So I may be buying that implement new. As much as uh, I hate to, uh, I'm gonna have to. And then there's a couple more I need to get. I need to get a fertilizer spreader, a cult factor, a couple other things. But the first implement for the food plot is ready to go. All right, as always, I appreciate you watching. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Until the next video, take care and God bless.